What is up, old souls? This is Reed from Everyman Vintage, and today I want to put things into context for you. You see, what you just heard was a late 1940s Fender Princeton amplifier. Now, this differs from the later Princetons and the Princetons that we are used to hearing and seeing today. This one is a smaller amp, more akin to like what we would consider a champ to be. It features a one volume and one tone knob. The tone knob doubles as the power switch. It has an 8-inch Jensen speaker. It's got one 5Y3 rectifier, one 6V6 power tube, and a 6SC7 preamp tube. You see, this even predates the invention of the 12AX7 that we have all become accustomed to today. Now, I could have found a more exact date of manufacture for this amp by sleuthing things like the pot codes or transformer codes or even the speaker code, but really none of those things are very accessible in this amplifier. The way the power transformer is oriented in there, um, you can't see the the cover that has the 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 stamp on it. The same with the with the output transformer. It's actually attached to the frame of the speaker. You can't readily see it, and you can't even see uh, the date codes on the Jensen speaker itself. And so I would have had to start taking things apart, and I just wasn't comfortable doing that on an amp that doesn't belong to me. And it truthfully doesn't r really matter. I believe my friend when he said it was a 47. If not, it is a late 40s to be sure. And all of this amazing history still applies. And that's why this thing just blows my mind. Now, the reason I want to put this thing into context for you is because I recently read this book. This is not a new book, but I'm not sure if you have read it. If you have not, I encourage you to check out The Birth of Loud. This is an incredible book that takes you on the journey of the invention and development and all that went into the creation of the solid body electric guitar. And I think that story dovetails so nicely with the story this particular amplifier tells this amp belongs to a friend of mine he said it was a 1947 which would be an extremely early tweed amplifier you see that right before that leo fender was producing what we now call the woody amplifiers and most people would say from 48 to the early 50s was when these tv front tweeds were made um, he had been told it might even have been a prototype what i have gleaned in the time since I've been borrowing this amp is that you find lots of early Tweed Princetons with all kinds of different circuits in them because Leo was constantly tweaking with those circuits to get the most out of them. And most of this was based on the input from musicians who were testing out and using his amps. All of this is outlined in this book and it's an incredible story. I mean, in the late 1940s, you still had Les Paul Paul, Paul Bigsby and Leo Fender all getting together at Les Paul's garage studio and hanging out in his backyard talking about their new inventions and what they were all doing. It's also important to note that at this time, the solid body electric guitar that we now know and love was not yet invented. Most of these amplifiers were used in a western swing context and lap steels were what were being amplified. That was the focus of Leo Fender's guitar building business. That's what Paul Bigsby was building at that time. It was just a crazy time in the history of the electric guitar. Now you'll notice that I'm playing a Stratocaster in this particular video and I almost exclusively play my old Gibson 335. However, an 8 inch speaker cannot handle the humbuckers and I find that the sound of a Fender guitar simply goes with this Fender amp. So that's exactly what I did. I paired up my uh, Fender Stratocaster that I bought when I was 16 years old. Had it ever since. It was my first good guitar. I decided to use that kind of return to my roots to play this late 1940s Fender Princeton amplifier. I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe if you have not already done so. I'll see you next time. I'm Reed from Everyman Vintage.